Hey, this is Keith, host of Sports Vibes TV, and I'm coming at you with another Giants video. If you're into Giants videos or if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping videos daily throughout the season, so make sure you're notified whenever I drop a new one. So with that being said, let's get into today's topic. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing Daniel Jones and Darius Slayton's performance last night against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, as Giants fans, a lot of us should be thrilled. It looks like Daniel Jones is just confirming what we all thought from last year, that he is a quality starting quarterback. And the fact that, you know, Darius Slayton looks to be evolving into a true number one option. The fact that last night he had six receptions, 102 yards, and he caught the only two touchdowns from, you know, Daniel Jones. I think you can't, there's nothing you can do but be ecstatic about something like that. Jason Garrett came in and we knew that his offense would kind of highlight some of the things that Darius Slayton does well, seeing that he has, you know, full four speed and he has the ability. He's a, a bigger body receiver that can still go up and get the football. So we knew that with the Air Coriel offense that Jason Garrett was going to, you know, utilize him in the proper ways. But nobody knew that in the first game of the season against a reputable defense like Pittsburgh, that he would come out in the you know with no preseason and look as good as he did. Daniel Jones also looked very good as well. He had two moments that kind of dampened his performance, and both of those were the interceptions. He had the first one to Watt, which you can't you know I don't want to blame him too much for that interception because that was more a, a good play or a good instinctual reaction by Watt. And then the second interception, he had no business doing that. Yes, we did have a receiver that was, you know, coming open at the corner of the end zone. But at that point, with all the energy that we had had, had expent in that 19 play drive, it was way too risky for him to do what he ended up doing, which was throwing an interception. What he should have done is he should have thrown the ball away and lived to fight and lived to fight another, you know, play. Hey, that was that kind of round. <laughs> that was half decent. But anyway, you know, outside of that. Daniel Jones looked very well. A lot of us were concerned seeing that it would be his second year learning a whole new offense. And we've seen what is going on with our crosstown. I wouldn't really call them rivals, but, you know, you know, Darnold didn't look that great last year, seeing that he was a second year quarterback in his a brand new offense. So we didn't know necessarily what to expect. But Daniel Jones looks really, really good in this offense. He's shown command of the actual playbook. He was making adjustments at the line. He was handling, you know, zone coverages a little bit better than he was last year. And it's very promising to see what they need to do now is just tidy up the offensive line work and try to get that running game going. Because it was good to see that even though the running game wasn't doing what it had to do, we were still able to move the ball up and down the field. And that's something that we struggled with last year. We weren't able to move the ball as efficiently last year as we were, you know, week one against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And, you know, it's been a rough few years as a Giants fan. And to see that, you know, we moved on from OBJ and now we have Darius Slayton, who looks like he's blossoming into a number one wide receiver is very, very positive. And, you know, this is just confirmation that we have our franchise quarterback. And to all the haters, you know, just watch what we do this year. I'm pretty confident in what we can do moving forward, especially on the offensive side of the ball. We can see clearly that's going to be the more dominant or that is going to be the only side of the ball where we can expect some sort of dominance. And, you know, we have some tough matchups coming up. We have the Bears next year, you know, next year. We have the Bears next week. And then we also have the San Francisco uh, 49ers the week after. So it'll be fun to see how we perform. But pretty much I'm happy with the way we looked offensively. And I'll make a separate video on what I thought or what I feel was going on on the defensive side of the football. I have more videos on the way dissecting other aspects of the game. And I'm also going to be dropping some film review. So Make sure you guys are subscribed for that. And I'm Keese. This is, once again, Sports Vibes TV. And I'm out. Uh -oh.